Hey guys and welcome back to our fourth part on how to do our Lego map. Sorry for the long uh, time that I didn't post it. So today we are gonna do this part, but before starting I have to tell you guys that I have some problems with the measurements because they are a little bit weird. For example here you can see that the length of this is 28, 28 but here the length of this is 30. So it's a little bit weird, then here it's 16 and here it's 14. So we have some problems and I'm gonna change some measured ones. So go ahead, make a new part. And I'm gonna start with, let me show you, with this one here, the small one that I will extrude it. So go back, make a circle with the diameter uh, 14 millimeters then we are going to need some lines 8 millimeters 9 millimeters 4 millimeters and go back to the circle okay we are going to use Nero because yeah of course we are lazy and this, this, this Okay, mirror line into this one. Done. And it's not working. Oh, let me do it again. Select. And we could do this, this, and this. Mirror line into this. Apply. And done. Okay. We can delete this one. I just use it for the mirror. And trim the extra circle. We don't need that. Exit the stage and we have this stage now. Go ahead, extrude it with 30 millimeters. Okay, we have some pilots and the radius is 2. In the file it's 1, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking when I will combine with the other parts because until now we use rad radius of 2 millimeters, so it will be looking weird if we do not do that. Make a new sketch here. We're gonna need some lines from here to the middle, seven millimeters. And again, in the word is uh, I think twelve, but I have done the piece before. <laughs> a little bit of cheating, I know. So yeah, it's a little bit weird. It works better with ten. Don't ask me why just like that 16 here circle again 10 millimeters just we can delete this too doesn't matter now extrude them with seven that's it and now we can do a new stage here and now you can go with like eight or seven depends on which one but uh, we're gonna need seven and I'll explain why let's see seven again finish just extrude them but in the opposite direction but not with seven because here we need less than seven here you can see that it's six so go ahead and modify that okay not seven but six okay that's it and now i'm gonna make the the circle at the base so go ahead this is a little bit weird but it doesn't matter you need a plan offset from a plan this one and we're gonna need it with 15 but in the opposite direction so we can just put minus 15 here doesn't matter okay and we have a new plan just a new sketch and the circle will be 14 again so it's not a problem finish sketch just extrude it and go back and see that our circle is 4 millimeters so 
four but it's symmetrical so you have this one now okay now let's do the radius uh, equals two as well so two here two here just click okay it's looking really nice okay so we're gonna make new sketches here and the circle it was here you can see it's more better so it's for the first one and it's one millimeter and afterwards it's 4.2 with two millimeters okay so make a circle four millimeters we just make the sketch extrude this with one millimeter click ok do new sketch circle 4.2 Finish <clears throat> two millimeters and it should look like this. Okay, for this part, and we have to do the same for this one. So let me just draw really, really quick. Uh, four, finish, extrude, one, enter. Go here in your sketch circle 4.2 finish extrude to enter. Okay, so you have this now, and we have here a radius of one. So go ahead, file it, change the radius to one, and now we have this one and this one so click ok and here we have the parts now until now it was quite easy right so it should be <laughs> ok so if you are here with me it's nice but here comes the problem we have this those cuts here and here you can see the over everywhere and it's 9.5 degrees and it's like 3 degrees so it was a pain in the ass for me to, to calculate and to do everything and to see how to do it so I started using a plan a work plan parallel with this one so if you go and just click but I think here, because you have this like tangent to the circle, okay, let's put that in home tab, you can see it better, and go here, and now I have to do a, a work plan, but angle around this one, so if you go here, and you save the angle, you can see if you want to move it, but I don't want to do that. So make a new plan and um, <coughs> three points, two points, you have a lot of options to do here, but this one and go ahead, click this one and this one and you can see the angle here, you see it? So of course here we have to to see the the angle that we need to do it so the angle is measured like this here you can see it so up top here will be 180 degrees so we're gonna need 180 minus 9.5 so it will be 170.5 if my math is not oh, not so many points yeah, it should be looking like this, but don't worry because we're gonna make another offset of this one. So just do plan offset and go like this and just put this distance and this one should be two millimeters. You cannot delete this one. This and this one, of course, and this one, 
And here you can see the part that we have to erase and everything. But let me think about something. Okay, so now we have to delete this part. So just go here in your sketch on this plane and select like I don't know. Let's let's do it with line. Doesn't matter. We just have to draw some like lines here. Doesn't matter. We can go like. Here, this corner, let's say here and here, like actually, it can be like this doesn't matter because it's only working on this plan. So just extrude, do it on the other part, and do the left, this one, and here you can see it. Okay, and here you can see the part that we made. So we have to do the same thing here as well. So pan offset this one, go minus two in the other direction, of course. Here and we have to do um, again this one. You can do this one. And the angle, it will be like this. So measure the angles between that and that. So here it will be minus 360 degrees. And we need an angle here. So it will be 300 degrees minus 380 degrees minus. Uh, 9.5 so it will be minus 370.5 no ah, without minus i think let's see okay why is not this working okay Wow, it's weird. So 9.5. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Okay, so just make an offset from this one to the other part in minus 2. And that's it. You can delete this one, just delete it and uncut this one. And here you can see it. We don't need this one anymore. So it's okay. Go make a new sketch and again make some random lines, doesn't matter. So, like, really doesn't matter. Finish. Oh, uh, actually. Here it doesn't matter a little bit, so go back to this cage and edit it a little bit because here the line should be a little bit different. So from this point, mm, here we have to go at the base of this one. Okay, and here from this one into this one and this we go together. That's it. Yeah, I have like a bunch of random lines, doesn't matter. Just extrude this cut this opposite way to make it okay and here you can see it. I told you it will be different from the the one in the in the world, but doesn't matter. It, it will work like the shape inside of it should be in order for us to work, not be bigger or smaller than we need to be. 
So just go and make it, let's say, yellow again. So go yellow, yellow. And that's it, guys. And th thank you for watching me again. See you next time. Bye.